crowds, cheers, was something Chris Heron once pursued. Today, he entered an old gym to a different sound. You name it, and I've pretty much done it. Part of his new life on the basketball floor. They wrote a book about me when I was 16 years old. The name of the book was called Four of the Dreams. That author followed me and 14 of my high school basketball teammates for one season. Seven of us became heroin addicts. Seven of us stuck a needle in our, in our arm later in life. And that brought the house down, Heron again! He was a high school All-American, a can't-miss prospect, who later played for his hometown Boston Celtics of the NBA, all the while battling the descent into heroin addiction that cost him his career and nearly his life. I was released by the Celtics, and I decided to pick up and take off. It's the stuff of lore, material for an ESPN 30 for 30 documentary. So we're talking over 17 years. Pills become syringes. And the reason why the Falls River, Massachusetts native was at Ballard High today. Hurt people, hurt people, man. He's been sober eight years, now pushing an effort called Drop Them Off to limit youth prescription drug abuse. Heron says reaching kids at this age is a key to combating the addiction he once knew. You know, just in a small state, Massachusetts, we had 1,500 deaths from heroin last year. 7,800 people were administered Narcan. If there was no Narcan, there'd be 10,000 people dying in a small state of Massachusetts in 2016. I mean, epidemic, it's beyond that. I always covered up my mistakes when I was your age. The now 41-year-old says parents also play an important role. We hover over our kids academically, we force them athletically, and we let them go socially. Why? The kids would rather have them on the sidelines when they're struggling on Fridays than on Wednesday afternoons playing soccer. It's a message that by the time he's done pacing the floor, still elicits one thing about the old days. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You kids were amazing. God bless. Have a great rest of the school year. Applause. At Ballard High, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.